Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My makeup looks disgusting, it looks heavy, it's patchy. I hate it. Let's just get on with today's video. This is an article, I mean, I vaguely knew that something like this had happened, but then I read an article on Insider delving more into the problem, so I guess this could be half clown world, half YouTube drama. What's that thing that people say? The most ambitious crossover in YouTube history. Yes. A YouTube drama reporter, <laughs> reporter, channel, drama channel, claimed the police were investigating Shane Dawson's old videos. Now he's facing backlash of his own. Do you remember that in a video, well, firstly I said, I'm not a drama channel, because I'm not, but I do like talking about gossip and drama because pff, who doesn't? I guess at the most you could consider me a commentary channel because I do offer commentary, not insight, I don't offer any insights, I'm a fucking moron. But I do offer jokes and commentary on stuff, but then I like doing whatever I want on this channel, so hmm. But definitely not a drama channel, because firstly, I, I don't know, no. And then also, I did mention in a video how there were drama channels constantly popping up in my recommended, pissing me off because they were doing 10 minutes and 5 seconds worth of content with only one new thing about the James, Charles, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star saga going on. Oh, and by the way, YouTube sent all of us lovely YouTubers an email to say that now, instead of videos requiring 10 minutes of content to be able to have mid-roll ads, now YouTube are changing it so videos can be eight minutes long and get mid-roll ads. So basically, a lot of these channels that do this type of thing, they're gonna start doing eight minute long, five second videos. Right, I said in one video, I was sick of these channels doing it, and one of the channels I was <laughs> subtweeting in vocal format, sub something, one of the channels I was subtly slagging off was this bloke, Sanders Kennedy, because he kept coming up all these bloody videos and... <sighs> anyway, let's get into the article. Don't ever call me a drama channel again. So here's the bullet points. A drama YouTuber named Sanders Kennedy sent old videos of Shane Dawson to the LA Sheriff's Department. He then made a monetized video about an investigation into Dawson on his own channel. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department confirmed to Nut Insider there is no criminal investigation. Kennedy's video caused immediate controversy in the YouTube drama community surrounding his actions. YouTube star Shane Dawson has faced backlash over the past few weeks over some of his old videos, including one where he sexualized then 11 year old Willow Smith. Now, a well-known drama YouTuber is mired in controversy after sending the videos to the LA Sheriff's Department and reporting on the so-called investigation on his YouTube channel. Sanders Kennedy, 31, what is with these adults acting like children? My word. <laughs> I went fully British then. I say. A self-proclaimed entertainer, self-proclaimed entertainment reporter. Oh, so he calls himself a reporter. I thought it just said self-proclaimed entertainer, like he's saying he's an entertainer, but no one's laughing at anything he does. With a popular YouTube drama channel, eh, 200k, <laughs> hardly the big leagues, is it? I'm so snotty about numbers, because I think my channel is tiny. <laughs> no offence to anyone who's around 200k, or I'm not here on YouTube to make friends, it's fine. Oh yeah, we're in that mood today. I took a few days off videos because I just wanted to play Fallout New Vegas for a few days straight. So I'm in that kind of mood today. Well, a popular YouTube drama channel confirmed Insider that he sent the videos to the police days after he tweeted about doing so. So he confirmed to Insider. All publicity is good publicity, right? The move caused an uproar in the YouTube drama community, though it was directed at Kennedy himself, not Dawson. Kennedy sent photos to the LASD and then posted a video saying there was an investigation into Shane Dawson. Insider confirmed there is no investigation into Dawson. After tweeting that he had sent Dawson's old videos and posts to the police, Kennedy posted a video to his YouTube channel saying that they had resulted in an investigation. The LASD confirmed to Insider that there is no investigation into Dawson, that any statements otherwise were misinformation. Imagine being so desperate for content that you've decided to make your own content. That didn't make any fucking sense. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Because let's be honest with each other right now, the Shane Dawson topic is a hot one at the moment. People are seeing massive views on their videos, like look at the videos I've done, they've had hundreds of thousands of views. So yes, people are gonna milk it, unfortunately. I really hope I'm not 
towing the line of milking it or not. I just have a lot of opinions, a lot of like silly things to say about these things. I like making jokes, you know what I mean? But it's something I'm aware of, even when it comes to in the Anision stuff, I think in my head, am I milking this? Am I doing this because I want to because I think it's like funny or I'm making a good video? Or am I doing it for the views? It's something that you should keep in check. So when you see these drama channels putting out like fucking two videos a day talking about this stuff, who are focusing solely on this topic and like I say, doing these 10 minute long videos and giving you like 30 seconds to one minute worth of new information at the end of said videos because all oh, we like to tweet or something, right? That to me is milking it. So I guess there is a difference between that and then someone like Angelica Oles who reports on this. I was about to say like a more beauty related version of Drama Alert though. I don't think that's, um, I don't think that's right. But in her video, she also mentions a lot of stories in one go. So you're getting bang for your buck if you're watching a 20 minute video of hers versus a 10 minute video of, hey guys, let's recap exactly what we spoke about yesterday. But oh, oh, Jeffree Star was seen in the picture. And I mean, if you're gonna do that, my main gripe about anything is if you're gonna do that, be entertaining. When I do these videos, it's with the mind of trying to be entertaining and trying to be funny. Whether I succeed in that, I don't actually know because I don't think I'm the funniest, but let's continue with this. Sergeant Dave Payne, the Human Trafficking Bureau Sergeant for the department, said that Dawson had not been charged with a crime and that no one has come forward to identify themselves the LASD as a victim of Dawson's. In a video on his YouTube page, Kennedy posted audio of his own conversation with Sergeant Payne in which the sergeant refers to a suspicious circumstance investigation. We don't have enough to call it a crime, but there's a lot of things we have to look through first and we also need victims, Sergeant Payne says in the recording. Kennedy later clarified that he never referred to the investigation as a criminal one, although critics have pointed out that he changed the title of his first video from LA Sheriff's Department officially opens investigation on Shane Dawson. Survivors urged to conform. Like this guy, is trying to create drama so then he can report on it as if he's an objective observer somewhere like why are you injecting yourself into the drama in this oh views and money obviously but why would you do this and not think that someone's gonna notice and you're gonna get called out for it i just i don't un i don't understand half the fucking galaxy brains on youtube to omit the word officially Sanders also edited himself saying the word officially out of the video after he began to receive backlash for it. I don't think that's the main problem, is it? Kennedy monetized his video about the investigation, a move that caused controversy among independent YouTube drama reporters and fans. Kennedy has more than 240,000 subscribers and the first video uploaded around the Shane Dawson investigation has been viewed more than a quarter of a million times. It immediately caused a stir in the YouTube drama community, prompting follow-up investigations from other YouTubers. I just don't see why you would send old videos or whatever of Shane to the police. It would be different if some victims, anonymous or otherwise, came out and said that they'd had, you know, an inappropriate interaction with Shane Dawson or whatever, but literally just sending his old content to the police. I don't, I'm not smart enough to understand this. My IQ just isn't high enough to understand YouTube drama channels. Kennedy's decision to monetize the video, which purported to report on information he himself had submitted to the police, also drew widespread ire. In exchange for paying $2.99 a month for his premium channel, subscribers would have access to exclusive information from the LASD, as well as things that might not become public on social media and on YouTube. Right, I'm fully aware that Shane Dawson is the subject of a lot of controversy recently, and I'm fully aware of that because I've made videos on the subject. So, you know, I'm in the know a little bit, but... Can people still remember that this isn't a cartoon character they're watching? It's still a human, however flawed they may be, with a life. So when you're doing stuff like this, like sending his old... For what? Sending his old content to the police, for what? To accuse him of what? Being a paedophile or something? Can we just please remember, before you try to totally ruin this man's life, that he is a human? And I just know me saying that there's going to be some people that are like, well, it's easy, but... You know, the jokes he did about paedophilia and in involving children in those jokes. And I don't like that either. I think that really crossed the line as soon as you actively involve children, you're getting them to twerk on Omega for you. Omega, whatever. What the fuck ever. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. But, and call me crazy, I hate 
that I've become some sort of reasonable person on YouTube. I hate it, I can't stand it. I wanna be irrational and phone the police on random people that I don't like just so I can make drama and make money off of it. I'm joking, obviously, I'm being facetious. But I just don't think that's enough to call the police over. Um, am I wrong for saying that? No, I don't think it's, that is enough to contact the police and be like, this bloke's a nonce. I don't know, am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I am. Maybe I'm a bit too relaxed with people, who knows? Let me know if you think in the comments below. And also, actually, I said at the beginning of the video my makeup's patchy. Someone please let me know in the comments below of a blusher that isn't patchy and that's cruelty free, preferably vegan. Please let me know because this, I'm mad about it. Kennedy also said that the LASD was strongly encouraging victims or survivors, their quotations, not mine, of Dawson to come forward, particularly in connection with old videos from tiny, tiny chat conversations. Kennedy asked so-called victims to reach out to him directly so he could be the one to direct them to the LASD. Oh, from the goodness of his own heart, I'm sure he wanted to be the one to have that information to pass on to the police. Not that he wouldn't milk it online, under this whole game of I know a bunch of stuff that you guys don't know but hey sign up to be a member on my channel and maybe I'll tell you. Controversy over the nature of Kennedy's involvement with the police and his portrayal of any so-called investigation erupted shortly after he posted this video. We're considering all options we will take appropriate action against Mr Kennedy to protect and enforce our clients rights, Dawson's legal representatives told Insider. The backlash has raised questions about Sanders' credibility in the YouTube drama community. Drama YouTubers have become a part of YouTube's ecosystem, with independent YouTube news reporters becoming influencers themselves, making livings off of their channel and shaping public opinion about famous creators. The controversy over Kennedy's video and reporting tactics, which include a scathing res video response from YouTuber Trisha Paytas, raises transparency concerns about how YouTubers who task themselves with holding their famous counterparts, account famous counterparts accountable go about doing so. Let it be known to any journalist, I don't hold anyone accountable. Not interested in holding big YouTubers accountable. I have to hold myself accountable for my sins in everyday life, my slovenliness and wrath and whatever. I'm not interested in holding big YouTubers accountable. I'm interested in taking the mickey out of big YouTubers who are acting like dickheads. When you start doing that, holding yourself as some sort of moral arbiter, telling other people what they can and can't do, then you better have a pretty good track record yourself. Because other people are going to come down hard on you, if whatever. I feel like I'm a reasonable commentary channel. Many would probably disagree, but I actually feel like I am, compared to a lot of people on the platform. An outpouring of criticism over his recent videos has caused Kennedy to largely disappear from social media, and Kennedy says he has received death threats. He has since taken all the videos down from his YouTube channel. He could have received death threats or he could say that he's receiving death threats. I mean, it's probably not inconceivable that he has received death threats because people are fucking wild on this platform. But at the same time, it's a good way of garnering sympathy when you fucked up by s Am I naughty for saying that? Am I cynical and jaded today? Huh. But it is, isn't it? It's a good way to deflect criticism. Anyway, Dawson has been quiet over the past two weeks as he has been buried by a backlash of his own, including criticism from Jada Pinkett Smith and Jaden Smith over his older videos. He's also faced accusations from YouTuber Tati Westbrook, who said that Dawson was manipulating and gaslit her into starting her 2019 feud with James Charles. I don't really know what to say about that. I mean, I think it goes without saying that the guy is an absolute lobotomite. Imagine being that desperate for juicy content that you create your own content by reporting someone's videos to the police. What more needs to be said, really? Like, dude, if you need content, content is everywhere. If you had more than 50 IQ points, you would probably see that anything is content. Make some Minecraft gaming videos if you need content that badly. Don't start getting the police involved just so you can make videos on it. What an idiot. Yeah, Shane Dawson has acted like an absolute bell. I'm sure this won't be the last video I do on him, but he's still a human. People like Sanders Kennedy need to bear that in mind that Shane Dawson just doesn't exist as a person on the internet. He has a real life, uh, so debatable. He has a life outside the internet. He's a person outside of Shane Dawson, the persona on YouTube. So bear that in mind before you try to absolutely ruin this guy's life. Which isn't to say, hey, never criticize people. Of course not, do it all the time. It's well funny, isn't it? But there's a difference between saying, you're acting like a bit of a bellend here and I'm going to call 911 on you because of some videos from 10 years ago. 
that don't actually prove anything other than you're a bit of a creep. Look at me defending Shane Dawson today, switching it up a little bit just to make sure that my audience is awake and paying attention. <laughs> I suppose I have nothing more to add to that other than just insulting everyone's intelligence as usual. Look at me acting like I'm smart. N not smart. I'm not smart in the slightest. I'm a meathead. A vegan meathead. But luckily for me, the bar on the internet for intelligence is exceedingly low. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like, comment, subscribe. I've got more videos coming out this week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wait, follow me on Instagram as well. Yeah, bye.